Good morning, YouTube. This is Emily here, aka Hummingbird, aka Loves to Camp 35. Uh, I'm not going to show my face today. I decided that it was too hard to record with the front facing camera on my tablet, so I'm just using uh, the regular view out the back of the thing. Um, but I'm here today to share my meditation altar. I'm actually getting all packed up to go off to my second year of college, and uh, so my room is a complete disaster right now. Uh, maybe later, after I have things packed in the van, I can do another video to kind of tour my bedroom slash witchy room, uh, but we'll see how I'm looking time-wise. Anyway, uh, this is my meditation shrine. I use it all the time to sit at, to put offerings on, uh... It just, you know, has a really nice uh, energy in the corner of my room here. Uh, really, everyone who comes to visit loves it, whether they're pagan or not. They don't, you know, necessarily get what it is, but they think it's super cool. So, I have here, if I back up some, uh, this metal box is what it's sitting on. That's actually like a travel caddy to put, you know, shampoo and other toiletries and stuff in. I'm not using it right now. The crate that I did have there instead, I'm using to, to take stuff down to my school. So I put that there. Uh, it's actually really nice and solid, so I think I might just leave it. Um, like I said, I, I almost never use it. It was for a vacation I took a long time ago, and it was useful at the time, but... I think now its purpose is probably better served here. Um, and then for the the shrine itself, if I uh, lift up my altar cloth here, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there is, um, it's a glass shelf. It was originally sitting like on this kind of rabbit shaped stand. Um, but the, the stand, as it would turn out, was super wobbly, super tippy, uh, so even though it was really cute, I mostly don't use that, that's why I put it on the box instead, but, so this is a glass shelf that has, uh, the altar cloth over it. Now, uh, in the back here, for a god representation, I have this Buddha, he's made out of, uh, frosted glass, he actually lights up too, but I thought that was a little bit of a tacky feature. Anyway, he was something that I got at a garage sale from one of my neighbors. Um, their grandmother actually collects uh, Buddha figures, so she had a bunch of them. And uh, I liked this guy. The, uh, the symbol on his chain there, uh, the Japanese reading would be Fuku, which means good luck. I'm not certain what the Chinese reading for that is, but as you can see, he is holding peaches uh, and a bag of rice and a string of coins, all of which are good luck symbols. Uh, then in the center here, I have this lovely selenite candle holder. That was a gift from my grandmother. She knows I love crystals. Uh, and there is a, a little electric tea light in there, since I can't actually burn things in my room. This uh, is what I'm using for a goddess representation, and uh, that is actually a porcelain doll, uh, handmade in Japan. Uh, I had uh, a delightful young woman come and do a homestay with me uh, from Japan several years ago. Her name was Miho, she was an absolute darling, and that was a gift from her. Uh, and then this is a glass vase I actually got uh, with uh, one of my BFFs, uh, Taylor, several years ago. It's got a little uh, My Neighbor Totoro charm hanging on it, but I use this to hold some silk roses. It's uh, really a fantastic uh, recycled glass bottle. I love it. I use it for all kinds of different things. Then uh, here in the middle, as you can see, I have some other silk flowers, but then um, I have those four stones. One of them, uh, the quartz point, I got at a museum a long, long time ago. And uh, the other three are actually ones that I just found at the beach uh, last weekend, I think. So uh, all the way on the right, there's a, a holy stone. I'm not going to hold it up because I dropped my tablet, but uh, if you look at it, the one of the holes goes all the way through. Uh, and as I'm sure you guys are probably familiar, holy stones or hag stones, as they're sometimes called, are great for um, seeing fairies, for doing healing work, etc. And then uh, the two in the middle are both um, like little coral fossils, or maybe maybe the one kind of blackish one is a shell fossil, not totally sure. I also have this little, um, I believe they're called Trilithon, but the, you know, the little Stonehenge uh, pewter statue there. Uh, one of my uh, 
other good friends, uh, Destiny, her grandmother just went to England uh, last year, I think, and so she brought me back that uh, little pewter Stonehenge uh, from Stonehenge, so that was really cool. Then uh, on this side, I have some further uh, kind of goddess representations with um, a geode that I found and um, a sort of a, I guess you could say, a yonic looking uh, snail shell. Uh, and then on the other side for the god, I have a more phallic snail shell and uh, a piece of petrified wood. Um, this guy usually hangs on my Buddha. I took him down because I tried to pick the Buddha up in a previous take of this video. Anyway, that's a little uh, medicine pouch that I bought several years ago, and it's filled with um, little teeny tiny crystals for, um, you know, uh, stress relief, anxiety relief. I have a lot of anxiety problems, so I love that thing. Uh, now here I have a little um, origami crane incense holder. Again, I don't burn things, so there's really not a lot of incense in there, but I like to have it. Uh, that's a little origami offering box I made. Um, these are some feathers from our pet cockatiel. You know, sometimes she uh, is preening or flaps her ring wings really fast, and then there's free feathers everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I pick those up. I use those. Uh, on top of my altar cloth, you can't really see it because there's other things sitting there, but if any of you have seen the movie My Neighbor Totoro, uh, you can tell that that is a Totoro washcloth. That was something that I bought when I went to Japan last summer. Uh, and it's a super cute, uh, you know, kind of pagan movie, so if you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend looking it up. Very kid-friendly. Uh, this here uh, is actually uh, two pieces of wood. Uh, we have a maple tree in our front yard that um, several years ago had a problem where uh, one of the branches was ingrown. You can see how the bark goes like all the way inside the wood there. Uh, so that branch had to be cut off, but I was able to keep this piece, and so I have it on my altar as a way to sort of connect with the local nature spirits. Uh, and then this is a shell that's kind of filled with other shells from, you know, the beach and, you know... Um, from family and so on and so forth. My grandma loves shells, so I have them kind of everywhere, and you know, they uh, remind me of her, so I love that. This is a tiny, 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 uh, you know, it's not much bigger than my hand, Book of Shadows that I got uh, as a gift from my aunt when I was actually just like six or so. And I only just found it the other day, so I'm getting it um, kind of restored, cleaned up, and I'm just now starting to actually put things in it. Um, so I will, I will walk you guys through that some other time. Um, and then this is a piece I made in my ceramics class two years ago. Um, it was sort of like a lace work kind of project, but you can see it's got like a pentacle in the middle, so I thought that was kind of neat. Um, and maybe I'll lift it up here so you guys can see the... Totoro cloth. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love that. So anyway, that is my little meditation altar. Um, up above it, I actually have, um, well, let's see, the rock all the way on the left there was one that came back from Stonehenge. Uh, that was another thing that my friend's grandma gave me. Super cool. Um, and then this little rock is from the beach. My brother actually sent that to me last year while I was away at school because he knows I love rocks. I have a whole bunch of geodes sitting here. That rock is from my school. Another geode. And then I have two of these little, um, blue... I think they're supposed to be trees, but they looked to me like antlers. So, um, when I go to school, I'll take those with me and use them as, like, a god representation. I have a little watercolor painting I did there. Uh, there's the other one, and then this, his name is Frederick, he's a little turtle dragon, he's got his little dragon horde back there. Uh, I actually bought him from a very talented artist at the festival I went to earlier this month. I will put the link to uh, her deviant art down in the information bar so you guys can check her out. She does beautiful work. Um, and that's about what I have over here right now. So, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Who knows, I might do another video later. We'll see how it's going. In any case, I hope you guys have a great one, and I will see you all later.